Well, good morning and happy Tuesday to you. Hello, Tina. Hello. Looking gorgeous in your pink. We look oh. very Valentine's Day. I was going to say, it looks like it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, we are just coming off of Father's Day, and um, I wanted to actually take a little time this morning to talk about something that my family and I have been dealing with um, personally, and I thought coming off of Father's Day was a good time, and maybe you noticed I wasn't here for a day last week. Um, my father was recently diagnosed with lung cancer, and he's a non-smoker, so this was a huge shock to our family. Um, I mention it now because uh, after about 10 different procedures, biopsies, he had surgery last week um, where part of his right lung was removed um, where the tumor was. So I'm very, very happy to say that the entire tumor was removed, which is amazing. And we are still waiting on final pathology, but I just think any time that there's a happy ending yeah. to a story like this, it's it's worth sharing. Absolutely. And, um, I've learned a lot, yes. <laughs> I would say, in the last several weeks, especially um, one of which is my father is probably the strongest human being on earth. And uh, I know he's at home recouping watching, so we want to say hi. And um, so one thing that's really fascinating is we've really come such a long way in the last five or ten years technology-wise. Yeah. And um, it really shows in the surgeries that they're performing now, especially for things like lung cancer. So where they used to have to make a large incision in the side, break some ribs to get to the lung, um, now they have kind of an amazing thing where they do four holes mm -hmm. and into one of the holes goes these little robotic arms. Now we have a little bit of video to show you while we're discussing it. So Alex, you can go ahead and cue that up. Now this is called the Da Vinci um, surgery. This isn't necessarily what my dad used, but it was something like this. Now we're looking at a grape right now. This is just a little tiny grape. Yeah. And these are these little robot hands, and maybe that's not what they're called, but that's what I've been calling them, the robot <laughs> hands, that actually go in to the body, and that's what removes part of the lung, and this is how they stitch him up after. So it's fascinating because a doctor is actually just a foot or two away controlling these little hands, but they're not touching the body at all. It's all these little robotic hands in there doing all of this magical work, and the outcome is you know, a much quicker healing time, yeah. a lot less painful. I mean, he's definitely uncomfortable and will take weeks to heal still, but the, the, the leaps and jumps we have made in the last several years are just outstanding. I mean, look at this. It is, and I, I know this is not reality, but I watch Grey's Anatomy. I get a lot of my medical information right? from there, but they did a whole episode about this machine. Oh, really? Yes, and how they were so excited to have it and the hospital have it because they could do things so uh, less of invasive, lots of different procedures, including this one. So that's where I first had heard about this. I mean, it's so spectacular, and and it's just really neat because you know my dad is one of our biggest fans as yeah. well, as you know. Yes. So he's been watching us every day, and I was like, you know what? We should give him a little shout out. Yeah. My mom's my mom's watching with him um, at his side the whole time going through yeah. this. So I have an amazing family, an amazing father, and I just want to say I love you very much and keep getting better. Yeah, and it was great he could be home for Father's Day. Yes, which it was, was unexpected. It was the the day he was released was the day before Father's Day, so it was a huge blessing for all of us. It is. So we're so glad that uh, you're at home, mom's at home, everyone's watching, and and I'm glad that you shared your story. Well, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so thanks that for was, listening. Absolutely.